All right, we're going to revisit our friend over at 680, Richard Southern, with today's business news. Good morning, Richard. Hey, Mel. Good morning. Disney came in with earnings last night, and the results, not good. Below expectations, uh, subscribers, and, and revenue falling at its ESPN channel. So what did the house that the mouse built do to appease investors? Well, they announced more Star Wars. Disney says they've struck a deal with Rian Johnson, the director of this upcoming film, Star Wars The uh, Last Jedi. He's going to create a new trilogy based on the series. Not clear exactly what it's going to be about or when it's going to come out. As well, Disney says it's making a live-action Star Wars TV series that will be on its new streaming platform, which will start up in 2019. Disney stock, as a result, is higher by one and a quarter percent in the pre-market trade. Investors encouraged by all these new Star Wars offerings. You know, uh, stocks uh, on a whole, though, starting to look a little bit weak after a big rally. The TSX has had eight straight winning weeks, but the Toronto market is suffering back-to-back -back losses now for the first time in two months. TSX down almost uh, 25 points last night, and the Dow fell for the first time in eight sessions. There's a lot of skepticism about tax reform in the U.S. It looks now like a corporate tax rate will be kicked down the road, maybe a year away. So starting to see a stocks turn a little bit lower. Dow futures right now are down. 40 points, indicating a lower open for Wall Street today. Well, it's another blow for big tobacco. No more holy smoke in the Vatican. The Pope has banned the sale of cigarettes there. Apparently, cigarettes had been sold at a discounted price in Vatican City. Employees allowed to buy five cartons a week. And the sale of smokes had been a source of revenue for the Vatican. But the Pope scrapping the practice anyways on health grounds. It was big tobacco these days moving more towards smokeless tobacco products. And word is, too, the big tobacco companies are eyeing the marijuana sector. Finally, it's always been the biggest taboo topic at work, salary, how much do you make? A new report out this morning finds that for those in their 20s and 30s, they're completely comfortable talking about that topic with their coworkers. This new bank rate survey finds 30% of millennials feel comfortable discussing their pay with coworkers. Just 8% of those 53 to 71 feel comfortable discussing pay. Kevin Frankish, how are you on this uh, cool Friday morning? I am fine, my friend. I am fine, my friend. I'm just, I'm just curious. Uh, you didn't continue the story about the Vatican, so will marijuana uh, sales be allowed, be allowed there? Uh, they haven't made a decision yet on that, Kev. Uh, they they, they uh, did. Uh, they'll need a, a Domino's pizza or something like that yeah. installed in Vatican City, if that's the case. Well, they've already got the incense. All right. Thank you very much, my friend. <laughs>